Today, what we're going to do with our test treadmill is test the drive motor using a household battery. You can use a household battery. We're going to use a we're going to use a battery like you'd find in a floodlight that you know when power goes off would be emergency backup battery for a floodlight. You can find these at Batteries Plus or something, uh, Radio Shack maybe. Um, it is a 12 volt battery. Now in order for this test to work you need to make sure that your treadmill motor is a direct current motor and you will find that on this label down here will say DC motor. If for some reason you have a commercial treadmill or an older, much older residential treadmill that's an AC motor, uh, this, is, this test will not work for you. Okay, so we need to make sure that it's the right motor to do the battery test. And that's what this is. This is called the battery test. You can do it with a 9 volt battery even. So what I'm going to do is down here in the compartment, you see this DC motor has two motor leads. It's very obvious, red and black, positive and negative, and this runs right into the controller. So I'm going to unplug these here, separate them, and take the black lead, clip it onto the black lead of the battery, and bend that down a little bit. And the red lead here, and not making good connection. And as we can see, we've got bell movement. So I'm hooking these things up correctly, okay? The, the correct polarity uh, to the correct side of the motor, so the motor's turning the correct direction. So don't get too upset if you if you hook it up backwards, you're not going to blow anything up. The motor just will run backwards. Okay. Now, one thing that I did not mention is that the treadmill is off or actually unplugged. You want to make sure that you are doing that um, before you do any of these tests. And <clears throat> If you still get no belt movement after you've done that motor test, what you've got is a bad controller here that I'm plugging this motor into. This circuit board right here. Normally, if one or the other is bad, the belt's not moving, that's your problem. We've already tested the motor. It's moving at a consistent rate because we're putting 12 volts into it. It's not arcing excessively. That would be noticeable through this window. And it's not getting hot, or the battery can sometimes get hot if the motor's bad after you let it run for a minute. So if it's not doing any of those things after you run it with the battery for a couple of minutes or a minute, then what you normally are left with is a bad controller. So you can go a little bit further and test the controller if you want to, and we might get into that later. But for the time being, if you have no belt movement, the motor tests good, on this type of treadmill, you'll be looking at a bad controller. Thanks.